What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this home light trimmer and the problem is it was put up last season working but it's a few months later and now it won't start. Let's take a good look at it, find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. In this video we try and repair this trimmer, however it may not be the exact repair you need to make to yours. We'll explore other options later in the video. Home light trimmers are a very affordable trimmer that can be bought at some local hardware stores. They're a great alternative to other affordable residential trimmers, but most see them as low quality when compared to high-end trimmers. However, I doubt this trimmer broke while being unused for a few months, so we'll try and diagnose this trimmer and figure out what's happened to it. One of the first things I like to check is that the engine still has compression. And to do that, I'll slowly pull on the rope and feel for the engine to fight back on each compression stroke. Now this one is fighting back pretty well, so that's not our problem. Now if yours is easy to pull, then the piston ring might be stuck. The next thing I want to do is put some fuel into the tank, prime the fuel system, and try starting it. So our first problem is that the primer bulb isn't filling up with fuel. Now the primer is supposed to help draw fuel from the tank to the carburetor, but if it doesn't fill, then it's going to be very tough to start. There's no point in trying to start it, so let's remove the carburetor and inspect it for any problems. One reason why your primer bulb isn't filling with fuel could be a clogged inlet screen, which is caused by the fuel filter coming off the line in the tank. Now our filter is still connected, so that's not the problem we're having. Another reason why is the metering diaphragm might be petrified or misshapen, causing it not to touch the rocker arm inside the carburetor. I'll start by removing the primer bulb side, which is also the pumping side of the carburetor. After removing this pumping section, we'll be able to see the inlet screen. So here's the inlet screen, and after getting some of the fuel out of the pocket, we can see that it's clean and clear of any debris, so that's not our problem. I also want to check that these two flaps on the pumping diaphragm are parallel with the rest of the diaphragm. The easiest way to make sure they're parallel is to look at them from the side. These flaps are parallel, so we can then move on to the metering diaphragm. Here's the metering diaphragm, and I hate to say it, it's not petrified. In fact, it's still quite flexible. However, if we look at it from the side, one side is lower than the other side, so this thing is misshapen and we'll have to replace it. Now, you can order these from any of the large online stores. Just search for metering diaphragm and make sure it looks like yours, especially when it comes to the stem in the middle. Now, before we move on, I want to make sure that when pressing this rocker arm, that fuel will flow through the inlet screen. To check that, just put some fuel into the pocket and press the rocker arm and hopefully the fuel will disappear from the pocket. Now ours did disappear so we can move on to replacing the metering diaphragm. Now if yours doesn't disappear, then you might want to clean the screen with some carburetor cleaner. Another reason why your trimmer might not start after winter storage is that it was stored with ethanol fuel in the tank. Now ethanol gasoline from the gas station doesn't store well, which can cause some serious problems for small engines. Now once the carburetor is back together, reinstall it onto the engine. Now the bottom port is for the fuel filter line and the top port is for the return line. Now before I install the return line, I'll press the primer bulb to make sure that it's actually working, which in our case is, so I'll continue with the install. Well, it didn't start, so what I'm going to do is manually prime it with some fuel. Now, since it hasn't ran in a few months, this may actually get the carburetor working again. We shouldn't have to do this again once we get it started and running. Oh. 
so it ran at full speed because I had the trigger squeezed, but also idled fine. However, it wouldn't rev up after that and eventually died. We need to use a single D carburetor tool to add more fuel to the engine so it can rev up. I'll start by turning the L screw, which is the one closer to the engine, a quarter turn counterclockwise to begin with. So it runs pretty good, but I did have to turn out the L screw again because even though it revved up, it had a slight hesitation, so it needed more fuel. I also tried adjusting the H screw to make sure it was near its highest RPM, but it turns out it was already there, so when I made the adjustment, I adjusted it right back to where it was. So my question to you is, would you buy a home light trimmer? or does it have to be a high-end trimmer? I don't have a problem owning a small, cheap trimmer because they don't weigh that much and they're very easy to handle. Now you know how I feel about it, but I'm more curious about your opinion. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask any questions, and I hope to see you in my next video.